First off, we have Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan, who's known for her sweet, innocent look, unveiled a dramatically different look in recent years. Ryan appeared in various rom-coms and series in the 80s and 90s that matched her bubbly personality. It was a time that demonstrated her external and internal beauty. However, female heroine roles eluded the actress in recent years. She decided to go for the classic Real Housewives of Beverly Hills look and change the natural grace that she had during her prime. Her new appearance sparked debates among fans and the general audience about whether she got work done. The most obvious thing Meg Ryan got done is cheek filler or fat transfer to her cheeks, doctors say. When she smiles, the filler seems to move up, making her eyes look smaller, one doctor said. Surgeons believe Meg may have had too much Botox on her forehead, which dropped to the brows during time. As a result, her eyes looking smaller. Although she still looks absolutely beautiful, it is safe to say everybody misses her cute innocence from the 80s and 90s. Next up, we have Mickey Rourke. This American actor first appeared in Body Heat in 1981 before showing his acting prowess in his preceding films. It's nothing new to compare Rourke's work with the likes of James Dean, even Robert De Niro. His re-emergence in the 2000s with prominent roles in Sin City 2005 and The Wrestler in 2008 solidified his status in Hollywood. Plus, he was once known as one of the film industry's most handsome stars. Unfortunately, plastic surgery made his career dwindle. With his bad boy persona in 80s cinema, a botched plastic surgery changed the public's perception of him. The general audience argues that he had cheek and maybe chin implants. He lost his original tough guy packaging after the surgeries. In 2009, Rourke admitted that his looks did change because of botched plastic surgery. He said most of it was done to mend his boxing injuries. However, he went to the wrong guy to put his face back together, resulting in an extremely changed changed look. Next up, we have Madonna. At the 2023 Grammys, Madonna revealed her new look, and fans were, let's just say, confused. Some calling her a, quote, alien trying to blend in as a human, and others blatantly calling her, quote, hideous. Two days after the Grammys, Madonna slammed people who chose to focus on her looks instead of the speech she gave before the historic performance she introduced. Sam Smith and Kim Petras were the stars that she was introducing that night. Instead of focusing on what I said in my speech, which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close-up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anybody's face, she captioned an Instagram video on February 7th. The pop icon went on to say that she is once again caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in. Madonna says this world does not, quote, celebrate woman past the age of 45 and will punish her if she continues to be strong-willed, hardworking, and adventurous. I have never apologized for any of the creative choices I've made, nor the way that I look or dress, and I'm not going to start today, the seven-time Grammy winner continued. I have been degraded by the media since the beginning of my career, but I understand that this is all a test, and I'm happy to do the trailblazing so that all the women behind me can have an easier time in the years to come. In the words of Beyonce, you won't break my soul. Next up, we have Miss Ariana Grande. Now, this one is not as noticeable as the other celebs we talked about, but fans are still wondering what happened to her face. YouTube videos went viral in 2023 and 2022 titled, quote, what happened to Ariana's face and Ariana's eyes are weird. Here's what we know about Ariana Grande's alleged plastic surgery. One, a nose job. Ariana Grande allegedly had a rhinoplasty procedure to reduce her nose size and shape it more naturally. This is one of the most common types of rhinoplasty procedures performed on celebrities because it gives them an instantly slimmer face, which makes them appear younger than their actual age. Number two, surgeons think she's had a brow lift. According to sources close to Ariana Grande, it is true that she has undergone a brow lift surgery. That is, in order to eliminate the sagging skin under her eyes and make her look more youthful, it can do that by helping you look less tired or stressed out, while also removing that angry look from your face. 
Number three, surgeons think that she has had a facelift in recent years. Another common procedure that many stars go through is facial rejuvenation with fillers such as Botox injections. It helps prevent wrinkles from forming around their eyes or mouth area over time due to their age. Ariana even got emotional in a video posted on Vogue's YouTube channel recently where she actually admits she no longer continues the Botox treatment and she felt like she was quote, hiding herself under all those cosmetic procedures. Next up, we have the late Joan Rivers. In 2010, at 23 years old, Rivers revealed that she underwent 10 cosmetic procedures in one day, including a chin reduction, brow lift, and Botox injections. This beloved American comedian, host, and actress paved her way into stardom with her natural beauty. However, it comes as no surprise when plastic surgery enters the equation of a celebrity's life. She has had multiple procedures like facelifts, neck lifts, to name a few. In an interview with her husband, Spencer Pratt, she said that she was too young to make life-changing decisions. She said she was under so much pressure from what she saw on the internet and made her do these surgeries. But Joan Rivers said that everybody should take plastic surgery seriously. For her, the recovery was devastating. Her heart even stopped for a bit, which made her more transparent about all the work that she has gotten done. Next up, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein, a Swiss socialite formerly married to billionaire Alec Wildenstein. When in 1999, Alec filed for divorce, she reportedly spent $4 million on various surgeries. She denies having excessive plastic surgery, citing it's just her Swiss heritage, but admitted to one surgery to make her eyes more cat-like. According to her ex, Alec Wildenstein, she was thinking that she could fix her face like a piece of furniture. Skin does not work that way, he says. Wildenstein claims that she has not had any income at all for the last eight years after her ex-husband's former family cut her off from her $100 million annual divorce settlement payments. The Swiss-born socialite decided to make a two-part docuseries and potential TV show produced by the team behind the hit, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, because all her money's gone. I have a huge problem with my settlement, she told The Telegraph at the luxurious Mayborn Hotel in LA. Since eight years, they have completely cut me off, she says. Wildenstein, now 82, rose to fame in the 1990s during her high-profile divorce from her art-dealing husband, Alec Wildenstein, from which she received a whopping $2.5 billion in the settlement and $100 million each year afterwards. Next up, we have Miss Donatella Versace. Her designs for Versace may spark a thousand copycats, but there's no danger of women following suit when it comes to her new face. 20 years ago, the fashion guru had naturally full lips and very smooth skin, but as she stepped out 10 years ago in 2014, for the first time since major surgeries, her face was striking for all the wrong reasons. Users on Reddit have shared their opinions, and some of these comments are not the nicest, let's just say. Why is her face slick like Vaseline? She looks like a Muppet. And why does she look extraterrestrial? Are some of the top comments on the thread. Next up, we have Zac Efron. Considering that Zac Efron has literally grown up on screen, his fans are pretty familiar with his famous good looks. From his wholesome start as a teen star in High School Musical, through his recent dramatic turn in The Iron Claw, audiences have seen him through a variety variety of stages. When the heartthrobs started looking noticeably different in recent years, they were understandably curious. Thankfully, there's no speculation necessary. Efron himself has been fairly candid about what has led to the transformation in his appearance. Zac Efron's famous face does look a bit different nowadays. The former Disney star revealed that he did have to undergo some medical procedures, but not for the cosmetic reasons some people might assume. In a 2022 interview with Men's Health, the actor revealed that his enlarged jawline was actually due to an old injury. While running in socks in his home in 2013, Efron slipped and smashed his chin against the granite corner of a fountain. The injury was so severe he lost consciousness, and when he woke up, his chin Chin bone was hanging off his face. As for how the 2013 injury impacted his appearance so many years later, he explained to Men's Health that it related to his masseter muscles overcompensating for the injured muscles in his face, combined with his temporary failure to continue physical therapy. 
Our next celebrity is Miss Dolly Parton. Dolly is a country music legend known for hits like I Will Always Love You and 9 to 5, but she's equally known for her plastic assets as well. One of the first times she admitted to getting work done was in 1977 in an interview with Barbara Walters. But honestly, Dolly, we love you and you look great. Our final celebrity today is Kylie Jenner. Since her initial debut on reality television, Kylie Jenner has undergone a significant, very dramatic shift from her lips to even her skin tone. Her latest new image, however, showcases a larger butt and a smaller waist. Most likely, a Brazilian butt lift or buttock implants were used to achieve the new look. To create a lower waist and a bumpier back, the Brazilian butt lift combines severe body sculpting with liposuction. For reference, a BBL employs liposuction to remove fat from other parts of the body, in other words, moving things around. Often the fat on the stomach or thighs is sucked out and injected into the buttocks. In a recent episode of the family show The Kardashians, Kylie said she would reverse the decision to get plastic surgery if she could. I wish I never got it done to begin with, she told her BFF. I recommend anyone thinking about it to wait after having children. She went on to say that her daughter Stormy, five years old, helped her keep things in perspective. Obviously I have a daughter too. I'd be heartbroken if she wanted to get her body done at 19, like Kylie did. She's the most beautiful thing Ever. So starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kim Kardashian. For years now, it seems like the Kardashian family has denied having any sort of procedures done, which is baffling because just having one look at the family, you can tell that they have definitely had a lot of work done to achieve their looks. While Kim has continued to go on and claim that she hasn't had any butt injections, she has claimed to getting cortisone shots to help her with her psoriasis. In 2022, during her cover interview with Allure, she would explain that she had a little bit of Botox done and that's exactly what she's done to her face over the years. She then went on to deny any other procedures after she said she chilled on all the Botox lately. She then went on to claim that she's never had eyelash extensions and went on to say, I've never done anything. I have a drop of mascara on today. I've never filled my cheeks. I've never filled my lips. But do we actually really believe her? Number nine, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen has been pretty open about her plastic surgery when she first started to admit to her procedures back in 2017 when she told Refinery29 that she had her armpit sucked out and when her fat came back, she had to pay for liposuction again so she could feel more confident when she wore her dresses. Then in 2019, the star would take to her Instagram to post that she would be removing her chest implants as she wanted to be able to zip into a dress size that was actually her size. And then again in 2021, the star would take to her Instagram again to share that she had the fat removed from her cheeks when she said, I did that Dr. Diamond buckle fat removal thing here. And since I quit drinking, I'm really seeing the results. Chrissy then went on to point to the area of her cheek where the procedure had been done before adding in her caption that she had no shame in her Dr. Diamond game. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number eight, we have Khloe Kardashian. I don't think any of us really thought Khloe would admit to some of the procedures she had done on her face as we thought she was just going to conceal the truth about her work like the rest of the family seems to do. However, during an episode on Keeping Up with the Kardashian series finale reunion, the star would admit to her procedures when she said, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had her third face transplant. But I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. On her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, the star also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved when she said, my face was so effed, I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again. I'm also almost like, I swear things are still in my face, which is honestly probably true as once you alter your face, you can't go back to what you used to look like before. Number Number seven, Ashley Tisdale. Have you ever noticed that Ashley Tisdale's face altered around the time she was working on the hit show, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Well, later on in Ashley's career, after the rumors started to circulate around the star altering her nose, she would admit that she did have a nose job done in 2007 to fix a deviated septum. When she told people, I didn't do this because I believe in plastic surgery, I did this to help my health. I literally almost could not breathe out of my right nostril. I 
want my fans to know the truth. I'm not someone who is going to act like I have done nothing. I just want to be honest with my fans who are everything to me. And while Ashley did choose to admit that she had surgery done, she's not like most celebrities on this list today because she chose to have the cosmetics procedures done to help her health and not to improve her overall look. Number six, Bella Hadid. In her 2022 Vogue cover story, Bella Hadid would share that she regretted having her nose altered when she was just 14 years old, when she said, I wish I would have kept the nose of my ancestors. I think I would have grown into it. She also went on to add that her nose job was the only procedure she has ever gotten done. And she went on to say, people think I fully effed my face because of one picture of me as a teenager looking puffy. I'm sure you don't look the same now as you did when you're 13, right? I've never used filler. Let's just put an end to that. I have no issue with it, but it's not for me. Instead, she went on to state that her lifted appearance is the result of an illusion when she said, whoever thinks I've gotten my eyes lifted or whatever, it's called face tape, the oldest trick in the book. However, while the star has admitted to her nose job, it's only a matter of time before she comes out to reveal that she also had buckle fat removal as her cheeks are looking hella sculpted lately. Number five, Joe Jonas. You think being one of the best looking men in Hollywood, Joe Jonas would have never done anything to his face, but then think again as the star has had help from injectables over the years to help combat signs of getting older. As he once told people, we're all getting older and part of it is being comfortable in our own skin. Around this time, Joe is also becoming a brand partner for Exomin, which is an anti-wrinkle injectable that temporarily improves the appearance of frown lines using a double filtered formula. Joe would also go on to admit he not only uses his treatment for his frown lines, but he also uses it to smooth out a scar he has between his eyebrows. Before noting that his procedure has never been over the top and that he kept things pretty light so you couldn't really tell that he has had work done. Joe actually only chose to come out about his cosmetic treatments so he can encourage other men to feel comfortable doing the same thing as he doesn't find it such a big deal. And he would also state that we should all feel confident about how we look. Number four. Courtney Cox. At one point in time, we all noticed that there was just something different about Courtney Cox. And while a lot of people just couldn't wrap their finger around it and what was different with her, some of the star's fans then started to accuse the star of having work done. While Courtney was silent for years about her cosmetic procedures, in 2017, she would finally admit to having cosmetic surgeries when she said, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look myself. I think that I now look like the person that I was. I hope I do. Things are going to change. Everything's going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made my face look fake. You need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn how to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend, but honestly, fillers seem to be no one's friend. So it's surprising to see so many celebrities entering into the trend to get them. Number three, Marc Jacobs. Back in 2021, Marc Mark Jacobs would cause quite the public stir on Instagram after he uploaded a selfie of himself post-operation that showcased his head wrapped in bandages. The celebrity would then open up about his $50,000 facelift and his decision to publicly reveal he had gone under surgery while saying there was no shame in being vain. The designer has been sharing candid photos of his post-operative recovery on his personal Instagram account since the celebrity plastic surgeon, Andrew Jacko performed his deep plane facelift on July 20th, 2021. Mark would then open up about his procedure with Vogue when he told the media outlet, I've got some scars around my ears and my face is swollen. I have a bruised neck. I'm still posting on Instagram. I don't care. I don't even see it as an effort to be transparent. I'm doing what I normally do, which is living my life and sharing it with anybody who is interested. Mark would then point out that he's been pretty honest about his changing appearance for decades and he'll continue to do so as he gets more procedures done. Number two, Tori Spelling. Back in 2021, Tori Spelling would address her expired and recalled chest implants when the actress posted a photo of herself at a plastic surgeon's office that year on November 19th. In the caption of the photo, she would say, after needing to for many years, I'm finally addressing my expired and recalled implants. Thanks for squeezing me in, Dr. Plastic Surgery. Great consult. I adore you already. Beforehand, 
Tori had already previously shared that her implants had expired during an October episode, wind down with Jana Kramer. And when Tori was asked if she wanted to have new implants done, the Beverly Hills 90210 actor would say she did before noting, see, no one told me when I got that done in 10 years, you would have to get them redone. Beforehand, in 2019, Tori did address all the rumors around her changed appearance when she told people, the one thing that stuck with me forever was the plastic surgery thing. I literally had my nose done and my chest done. That's it. I'm constantly reading that I've done more. While the star has been under speculation for more procedures since she was at the age of 19, it seems like most celebrities can shake the rumors, but Tori's plastic surgery rumors have stuck with her throughout her entire career. And coming in at number one today, we have Reed Ewing. Reed Ewing once opened up about how he had a nightmare of a time struggling with body dysmorphia and the resulting horrors he faced when he attempted to use plastic surgery to fix it. When the actor, who is best known for playing Dylan on Modern Family, penned an essay for the Huffington Post, he would give shocking details about how he had a pretty difficult time in his life dealing with body dysmorphic disorder. So if you don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it's a mental illness in which a person obsesses over the way he or she looks, thinking about their real or perceived flaws for hours each day. And for Reed, he spent years analyzing every single feature, to the point he had to make his first appointment to meet with a cosmetic surgeon when he was only 19 years old. Though he describes the doctor as being curt and uninterested in his worries, nevertheless, he decided to undergo the surgery to get a large cheek implant. After getting the surgery done, Reed would face more problems, as he had to hide his face from the public to hide his disordered appearance post-surgery. It also didn't help when he woke up from the surgery, all the doctor and his staff could do was laugh at the actor's appearance. Number 10, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is one of many people from the Kardashian crew that I could have chosen for this list, but unlike some of her sisters, Khloe has opened up to fans about her cosmetic surgery journey, revealing her only regret about having a nose job. For years, Keeping up with Kardashians fans had questioned whether Chloe had any work done on her nose or any other part of her body, really. During the show's reunion special last year, she confirmed that she had the surgery. She had apparently been hesitant to share the information with fans, as she claimed that the world is just a bit too easy to set off and that people would more than likely bombard her with backlash. Which is exactly what happened. After revealing the truth, she was blasted with questions left and right. Why? What? When? Where? Huh? According to Chloe, the main reason she wanted to try something different was because because she was tired of being compared to her siblings all the time. The Kardashian clan is large and filled with basically one of every kind of crazy, but Chloe has maintained that she regrets trying to alter herself just to be a little bit more different than her sisters. Number nine. Cardi B. Cardi B has never been coy about the plastic surgery procedures that she's had done. During an Instagram Live video in December 2022, she talked about a procedure that she had done to her bum bum years ago and gave her followers a word of advice while doing so. Following the birth of her son, Wave, that's a great name, in September in 2021, people said that they thought she had work done, when in reality, she had gotten surgery in August to have 95% of her bipolymer bum bum injection removed. She went on to tell people that they should do research and listen to their doctors, not just when it comes to bum bum injections, but also Brazilian bum lifts, seriously, why can't I say but? And all the other plastic and cosmetic surgeries. In 2019, the rapper got candid about having to cancel and postpone shows because she needed time off to recover from a liposuction. On Twitter, she talked about having to miss work for two weeks because of that. And in that same year, Cardi also told Entertainment Tonight that she had a chest lift after giving birth to her daughter, Culture, and was unhappy with needing to take the time off. So Cardi's biggest problem is not with the procedures themselves, but the recovery time it seems to take. Well, fear no more with InstaLift. Now I'm just kidding, that's not real, but oh man, I've got a good pitch for Shark Tank. Number eight, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen has no issue when it comes to being open about what plastic surgery procedures she has done. The 35 year old model recently took to her Instagram story to show off the results of the cosmetic surgery procedure that she revealed she underwent, buccal fat removal. The goal of buccal fat removal is to thin the cheeks and specifically in the area of the cheek hollows, and I'm not talking about face cheeks. While she claims that the removal was a success and that she could see the results, the aftermath of the situation left her on the other side of the argument. She was candid about this procedure. Many were still questioning how she got her face cheeks to look so perfect though. Speculation started running wild of people claiming to know for a fact 
that she had fillers. In fact, an entire YouTube channel was dedicated to proving that this woman was made of silicone. She addressed the rumors online and claimed that she did in fact receive the aforementioned bum bum solution, but she denied that the claims that she received any kind of cheek fillers. Instead, she made it known that she was not an advocate for body morphing, claiming that the only time that this should ever be done is for medical purposes. Number 7. Jamie Lee Curtis Jamie has been a staple in the world of Hollywood ever since starring in the iconic 1978 horror flick Halloween. She slowly made herself a force to be reckoned with, making her way through several iconic shows and films before landing an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in last year's Everything Everywhere All at Once. Jamie has been very open about her life when asked in interviews. She is an open book ready to be read by any and all that are interested. When the topic of plastic surgery comes up, Jamie is very loud with her opinion, claiming people should not F with their faces. In 1985, Jamie underwent a handful of procedures to increase her beauty. She got Botox and liposuction, which she admitted made her feel terrible. She also recounted trying to change her hairstyle all the time, but the reinvention of Jamie Lee just never took place. Now in her 60s, Jamie is still stunning and it's got nothing to do with surgery. Just a long life of running away from mass maniacs. Number 6. Kim Kardashian The reality star can be tight-lipped about the cosmetic procedures that she has undergone and has repeatedly denied getting plastic surgery, but on a forthcoming episode of The Kardashians, she seems to make a surprising confession. In a peek at season 3 shared by her sister Chloe on Snapchat, Kim is seen taking voice lessons. While talking to her vocal coach, the Skims founder admitted that she couldn't use her neck muscles to sing because half of hers were probably Botoxed. Kim admitted to having a little bit of Botox in a 2020 to Allure interview, but claims that she's had no filler, adding that she will never fill her cheeks and she's never filled her lips and all this jazz. While this may be true, back in 2010, Kardashian suffered facial bruises after getting Botox before she turned 30, an experience that was documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kim claims that the surgeon warned her of all the possible side effects, you know, like they're supposed to do, but because it was the first time receiving the procedure, she flipped out in front of the cameras. Since then, Kim has seen clear of any more Botox related procedures, claiming that she felt a constant burning sensation for days afterwards, being some of the most painful moments of her life. Number 5. Courtney Cox the Friends star was speaking with the UK Sunday Times style magazine ahead of the launch of her new comedy horror TV show, Shining Veil, vale, in which she plays a depressed novelist who moves from New York City to rural Connecticut with her family. Cox herself is facing up to the fact that she is not far off from 60. She admitted that she initially tried to fight aging with all kinds of cosmetic trends, but eventually realized that she had gone crazy and is now trying to age gracefully. Despite her global superstar status, Cox said her confidence was dented a few years ago after shooting a pilot for a series that was never produced. Thankfully, the treatment she received could be removed. Her face filler slowly dissolved, and it would appear that she has decided to steer clear of any more cosmetic situations, proven by her role in the new Scream series where she really does, does not look all that different from her friends days. Number 4. Sharon Osbourne The talk host, who is 70, admitted that she came to the decision to quit with the surgeries after an October 2021 facelift left her with one eye lower than the other one. TV personality and wife to the Prince of Darkness, Sharon previously spoke about regretting the horrendous facelift with the Sunday Times. She said she had a full facelift that October that left her looking like a mummy in an enormous amount of pain. Not only did the procedure leave her with one droopy eye, but she added that the five and a half hour operation was not worth the time or the price tag. In fact, she kept calling herself a cyclops because they did such a bad job. At least she was able to laugh about the situation. Since her last botch, job, Sharon has decided to steer clear of the whole surgical route for now and instead is going with the au natural look. Number 3. Tara Reid Tara was initially a rising star in the world of Hollywood, being featured in several franchises over the years. But as time went on, her career slowed down and she was offered less and less roles. This was thanks to the reality series called Tara Dice, which showcased her pension for the party lifestyle. A wardrobe malfunction at a party for P. Diddy in 2004, in which one part of her chest was visible for all the world to see, did not help the situation. Shots of her deformed chest quickly circulated on the internet and 
and Reed says that she was devastated. She had consulted with a plastic surgeon who gave her a completely different size than she had wanted, and Reed also had a procedure called body contouring done by the same surgeon, and she was unhappy with those results as well. Reed went under the procedure again one more time to get the previously botched jobs corrected. She says she saw a therapist for about a year to get help with her confidence issues and has settled down since her paradise days. And on top of that, she's also steered clear from too many more surgeries, urging anyone who is going under to do some research first and, you know, check those sources. Number two, Mickey Rourke. In the 1980s, Mickey Rourke began to find success as an actor. He was praised for his appearance. The Independent compared his youthful appearance to Marlon Brando or James Dean. So when the actor's appearance changed in the 90s, fans started asking questions. And as it turns out, the explanation for the transformation, it makes sense. Speaking on the topic of plastic surgery, Rourke told the Daily Mail in 2009 that most of his was to mend the mess of his face after boxing. Rourke had cartilage taken from his ear to help rebuild his nose, which was an operation that he called one of the most painful things he had ever gone through. His biggest regret comes from not doing enough research before booking the appointment. Seriously, this whole list could just be top 10 times he should have done research. He's quoted as saying he went to the wrong guy to get his face fixed. Well, he has claimed that he's only had one more surgery to attempt to fix things. He has since become a public advocate for only getting surgery if it's for health purposes, because sometimes you need a part of your arm grafted to your shin. People are wild. At number one, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman has admitted that she regretted using Botox to battle the signs of aging. The Australian actress confessed that she did indeed use the cosmetic injections, but said that it was an unfortunate step in her beauty regime, adding that she was glad to regain some of the movement in her face. She recounts getting Botox at one point and claiming that it had unfortunately left her face looking a little disfigured, ultimately opting out to get another jab. She claims to have hated the way she looked when she first received the shots, very quickly realizing what a mistake she had made. She claims that her beauty comes from a natural place outside of that, saying in interviews that she is not one to advocate for plastic surgery. She claims to use sunscreen, not do any illegal substances, and she takes care of herself. Boring! Hey, if I had millions of dollars, I might drink a smoothie and hire a trainer too, but I don't. In an appearance on Running Wild with Bear Grylls in 2016, Friends star Courtney Cox revealed she regrets getting some filler. During her appearance on their survival skills reality TV show, Courtney Cox said, Getting older is not the easiest, but I have learned lessons. I think I was trying to keep up with being older. I have done things I regret, and luckily, there are things that dissolve and go away. So that's good, but that's not always my best look. She did let those things dissolve shortly after. Quite a bit later in a 2022 interview, with the Sunday Times, Courtney revealed that she thought she looked really strange after getting her procedures and that what she had done to her face she would never do now. Kenny Rogers is an absolutely iconic man known for hits like She Believes in Me and Don't Fall in Love with a Dreamer. The late singer has fans all over the world. Most fans were shocked when Rogers revealed a pretty major transformation in the early 2000s. His 2013 memoir, Luck or Something Like It, Rogers gives an explanation as to why he got the facial procedures done, saying that he did it because he was trying to keep up with the younger stars coming in and wanted a bit of a revamp. A 2012 visit to CBS This Morning echoed this sentiment. He also shared in this 2012 interview that he regrets it. He said, I had the money to do it and I had time off and I regret that. But the truth is, I don't know what I would have looked like if I hadn't done it. The part that he has gone on record saying that he regrets the most was his eye job. This happened in a 2006 interview with People. He said that the eye job was too tight around the eyelids for him and that it drives him crazy. But he had found the humor in the situation thanks to friend Dolly Parton the country queen herself and Roger's duet partner on the hit track, Islands in the Stream. Apparently, Dolly used to tease him about the various surgeries. In an interview with Anderson Cooper, Kenny Rogers confirms all of this, saying, Dolly and I used to laugh about it. I think he looks just fine after, but I can understand why he might have been upset with the after pictures. Khloe Kardashian has famously admitted that she was not happy with some of her procedures, specifically the filler she had done in her face in 2015. According to the Daily Mail, Khloe alleged allegedly said, it did not work for me, I looked crazy, and I still think the effects are in there. I went to have it all dissolved like three times. The fillers were done shortly before then-husband Lamar Odom's accident. Chloe revealed that when she had spoken to her doctor about the mess up fillers, he said, I think it's just 
too much was happening to your real emotions, so she tried to get the fillers dissolved. Chloe was overall not thrilled about the situation, saying, it was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again, and I'm almost like, I swear things are still in my face. The entire thing was a pretty major reveal to Kardashian-Jenner fans, as Chloe has adamantly denied having any filler in the past. Just recently, Chloe has confirmed that she has had a nose job and has one regret about it, that she didn't do it sooner. That was shared via her Twitter accounts. Cameron Diaz disliked the way Botox made her look. She revealed this fact in a 2014 interview with Entertainment Tonight. The star of Charlie's Angels and Shrek shared that she has tried Botox before, where it was like a tiny little touch of something. It changed her face in such a weird way, she'd rather see her face aging than a face that doesn't belong to her at all. She went on to say that she doesn't want to smooth out the smile lines because that means she smiled her whole life. While Botox might not be the choice for Cameron Diaz, she has no judgment towards people people who do choose to get Botox. Ariana Grande is in a similar boat. In her Vogue Beauty Secret tutorial that was posted to Vogue's YouTube on September 12, 2023, Ariana shared that she has had a ton of lip fillers over the years and Botox, but now she's over and done with it. Ariana has disclosed that she wants to now see herself age naturally. Like Cameron Diaz, Ariana Grande wants to see her well-earned cry lines and smile lines. She continued to share that she stopped all those procedures back in 2018 because in her words, she felt like hiding because it felt too much. While she did seem to be done for now, she isn't ruling anything out for the future. She is leaving the door open for the possibility of a facelift, but not for a long time, like at least 10 years. But even then, it's only a maybe. So we'll check back in in a decade. Star of the Hills, actress Heidi Montag has made many headlines, but specifically in the field of cosmetic surgery. She is known for undergoing 10 surgeries in one day in 2010. 10 in one day at age 23. For the face specifically, she had a brow lift, Botox, and a chin reduction, plus more. In a 2012 interview with Access Hollywood Live, Heidi revealed she was definitely way in over her head, and she only wanted a few enhancements, and then it kind of got out of hand. Hand. Further going on to say, I wasn't really told the repercussions and what would happen, emotionally and physically, and the pain I would be in. It was kind of a shock. As of that 2012 interview, Heidi hadn't received any additional work, wanting to focus on being healthy, alive, and strong in her words. Right after the surgery, she was open to more, but that has changed, especially more recently. In a 2019 er interview with Cosmopolitan, Heidi shared her 32-year-old perspective on things, saying, I was way too young to make such life-changing decisions, and I was under so much pressure because it was the beginning of comment sections and negativity and hate on the internet. Being in the Hollywood spotlight is never easy, and I'm glad she has found peace with the situation. Jennifer Grey has regretted her nose job that she received in 1989. Not necessarily because it didn't look good, I think she looks great either way. It's just when she changed her nose, it changed her whole face, and she was suddenly unrecognizable. This decision went on to hurt her career. She had just done the iconic film Dirty Dancing, yet she wasn't getting hired much after in Hollywood, probably because she looked so different. At least, that is what Jennifer Grey thinks. She said, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous, going further, saying, I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. Though it was hard for her to get roles, she wasn't completely out of the game. She had some guest appearances on Friends and House, as well as a few TV movies. She did famously win the 2010 season of Dancing with the Stars. Makes sense. Kylie Jenner has one of the most famous pouts in the world, making a considerable amount of money off the lip kits she created so you can have one too. However, she hasn't always loved her lips. It's no secret that Kylie has had lip injections, but in a 2016 interview with Allure, and also her sister, Kim Kardashian, Kylie admitted that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point. Kim agreeing with her. Kylie did explain herself saying, I got excited and I felt I needed to do a lot, and then you guys were like, Kylie, you need to chill, and then I had to go back and have it fixed, and it was a crazy process. Thank God I didn't end up on Botched. She regrets going overboard with the filler, but not getting it in the first place. Kylie's lips have definitely become a main part of her brand now, and I think they look great, and she seems way happier with them now. Just recently, on March 8th, Kylie sat down with the New York Times and shared some insight how she feels now, saying, it's just years and years of not feeling like my face or looks are accepted. There's nothing anyone could ever say now that would hurt me. 
Melanie Griffith is known for working girl Lolita and giving birth to Madam Web herself, Dakota Johnson. Love Dakota, but this ain't about her. Melanie Griffith sat down with Vanity Fair in 2017 to discuss life, love, and her past plastic surgeries. She said she hadn't noticed something was up with the procedures and the amount she was receiving until outside parties started pointing things out. Griffith shared she was hurt by constant comments like, oh my god, what has she done, and decided to take matters into her own hands. She started visiting a different doctor to get everything fixed up. She went on to say, I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of this stuff that this other doctor had put in. Hopefully I look more normal now. I think she looks great and is rocking it on the red carpet. She has appeared alongside her daughter Dakota on a few and has been in a few films more recently like The Disaster Artist. She was also in Stuart Little 2 as a little bird. That's not on topic or important at all, but it is important to me. <laughs> Sharon Osbourne seriously regretted a five hour facelift she had back in 2021. In her own words, she thought she looked like a cyclops because one eye was different to the other. She was able to joke about the situation saying, all I need is a hunchback. The TV personality told the Sunday Times that the procedure was a full facelift and that she looked like one of those mummies that they wrap with bandages. It's a few years later though, and Sharon Osbourne, in my opinion, doesn't look like these descriptions at all. She looks great right now. Well, she was, and I cannot stress this enough, not very happy with the results, and neither was her husband, Ozzy Osbourne. He told her, I don't care how much it costs, we'll get it redone. And she did. Sharon did have to wait until her face was fully healed before she could head back in the room, but eventually she was able to go back in and have everything corrected. Sharon is no stranger to cosmetic procedures and has openly spoken about the ones she's received in the past. While speaking to the Times, she revealed that she has had a tummy tuck, lifts to multiple body parts, breast implants, and Botox, as well as three facelifts. But it looks like Sharon Osbourne might be done with it all. In an interview with The Sun in April of 2023, she reveals that the previously mentioned disaster facelift has put me off and it frightens me. I really pushed it with the last facelift and I am now like no more.